Prepare to read. Where on earth is my bagel? Genre study. Realistic fiction stories are made up but could happen in real life. When you read Where on earth is my bagel, look for characters that act and talk like real people, problems and solutions, ways pictures and words help readers understand the story, set a purpose, read to make smart guesses or inferences about things the author does not say. Use clues in the text and pictures to help you. Power words. Darting. Smothered. Nod. Slippery. Hollered. Delight. Fragrant. Grunted. Meet Grace Lynn. Grace Lynn didn't always plan on being an artist. When she was young, she wanted to be an ice skater. She drew lots of pictures of herself twirling on the ice. She discovered that she could draw much better than she could skate. Ms. Lynn studied art in college. In 1999, she published her first book. She has illustrated many books since then and has won awards for her work. Today, she lives in Massachusetts with her husband. Where on Earth is My Bagel? by Francis Park and Ginger Park. Illustrated by Grace Lynn. Once there was a boy named Yum Young who lived in a village where the mountains met the sky. There were waterfalls rushing into streams of darting fish. There were lilacs gently blossoming on every hillside. But there were no New York bagels. How a New York bagel popped into Yum Young's head was a mystery. Perhaps it came to him in a dream, smothered with cream cheese. Or maybe he heard sparrows singing of bagel crumbs in Central Park. However it happened, Yum Young could not stop thinking about a golden brown bagel with a curious hole in the middle. The very idea made his tummy growl and his mouth water. Yum Young declared, I want a bagel. Now, dreaming about a New York bagel and actually eating a New York bagel were worlds apart. Yum Young wondered, where can I find a bagel? He wondered and wondered until he came up with an idea. I will send a message, he said. So he sat on a rock and began to write. Dear New York, I would like to order one bagel to go. Please send it to me as soon as possible. Respectfully yours, Yum Young in Korea. Yum Young carried his message to a mountaintop where birds flocked. Soon a pigeon landed on his shoulder. Yum Young tied his message to the bird's tiny leg, and the pigeon flew off into the clouds. Pigeon, he cried out, please return with my bagel. Yum Young waited and waited on the mountaintop. He waited until the sun dipped below the mountain. He waited until the sky was blanketed with stars. But the pigeon did not return with his New York bagel. Yum Young decided that his bagel must be lost. Perhaps the pigeon dropped his bagel on the wrong mountaintop? Or maybe it was delivered to the wrong person? However it happened, Yum Young would not give up hope. A search was in order. Yum Young declared, Where on earth is my bagel? The next morning, Yum Young visited Farmer An who was pushing his plow in a field of wheat. Excuse me, Farmer An, Yum Young said. Have you seen my missing bagel? Farmer An wiped the sweat off his forehead. Bagel? What in a farmer's field is a bagel? It is round, and it has a hole in the middle, Yum Young explained. Hmm, Farmer An said with a nod. He pointed to his plow wheel. Is that a bagel? Yum Young frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I am sorry, Yum Young, Farmer An said. 
I know about wheat that grows from the rich brown earth, but I know nothing about bagels. Next, Yum Yum visited Fisherman Key, who was on his boat shaking slippery fish out of his net. Excuse me, Fisherman Key, Yum Yum shouted. Have you seen my missing bagel? Fisherman Key threw his net back into the water with a splash. Bagel? What in the salty sea is a bagel? It is round, and it has a hole in the middle, Yum Yum explained. Oh, Fisherman Key said with a nod. He pointed to his life ring floating below. Is that a bagel? Yum Yum frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I am sorry, Yum Yum, Fisherman Key said. I know about fish that swim in the sea, but I know nothing about bagels. Next, Yum Yum visited Beekeeper Lee, who was collecting honey from a beehive. Excuse me, Beekeeper Lee, Yum Yum hollered from a distance. Have you seen my missing bagel? Beekeeper Lee raised her bee veil. Bagel? What in the sweet name of honey is a bagel? It is round, and it has a hole in the middle, Yum Yum explained. Ah, Beekeeper Lee said with a nod. She pointed to the thick swarm of bees circling over her head. Is that a bagel? Yum Yum frowned. No, that is not my bagel. I am sorry, Yum Yum, Beekeeper Lee said. I know about the buzzing business of bees, but I know nothing about bagels. Yum Yum sat down on a quiet hillside and moaned. All hope for a bagel seemed lost. Then a delicious smell tickled his nose. He sniffed curiously. Where was it coming from? Yum Yum looked into the valley and blinked with delight. There was O's Heavenly Bakery. Yum Yum rushed into O's Heavenly Bakery, where Baker O was making one of her famous rice cakes. Baker O, Yum Yum pleaded, please tell me you have my missing bagel. Baker O sprinkled a few pine nuts on the rice cake. Bagel? What in a baker's kitchen is a bagel? It is round, and it has a hole in the middle, Yum Yum explained. I am very sorry, Yum Yum, Baker O said. I have not seen your missing bagel, but maybe that pigeon tapping at the window has better news for you. Baker O opened the window. The bird flew in and landed on Yum Yum's shoulder with a message. While Baker O fed the pigeon rice cake crumbs, Yum Yum read the message aloud. Dear Yum Yum, thanks a million for your order of one bagel to go. I'm real sorry, but my bagels only stay fresh on the same day they're made. So I'll do the next best thing and send you the secret recipe for my number one New York bagel. Good luck, Joe, from Joe's To Go Bagels. P.S. Recipe on other side. Baker O. studied the recipe, then frowned. I am afraid I do not have all the special ingredients to make a New York bagel, Yum Yum. My sweet rice cakes are made with rice, sugar, and water. This bagel calls for flour, sea salt, and honey. Yum Yum jumped. Did you say flour, sea salt, and honey? Yes, Baker O replied. I will return, Yum Yum promised. And indeed, he did return, with Farmer An and Fisherman Key and Beekeeper Lee. I have the flour, exclaimed Farmer An. I have the sea salt, exclaimed Fisherman Key. And I have the honey, exclaimed Beekeeper Lee. It was time to make a New York bagel. Baker O tied an apron around Yum Yum's waist. Following the recipe, Yum Yum instructed Farmer An to sift flour into a mixing bowl. He instructed Fisherman Key to sprinkle in the sea salt. He instructed Beekeeper Lee to spoon in the golden honey. Then Baker O poured in the water and tossed in a pinch of yeast. Yum Yum kneaded the fragrant dough 
and formed it into a ring shape. He perfected the edges, especially for the hole in the middle. He dropped the dough into a large pot of simmering water. Minutes later, it floated to the top. Then Yum Yum sprinkled it with sesame seeds and into the oven it went. Yum Yum watched the dough magically puff higher and higher until it nearly filled the whole oven. Until it was a golden brown bagel. The bagel was so big that Farmer On, Fisherman Key, Beekeeper Lee, and Baker O had to help Yum Yum carry it out of O's heavenly bakery. They all grunted as they set the bagel down under a persimmon tree on the quiet hillside. Yum Yum broke off a piece of the bagel for each of his friends. Mmm, said Farmer On. Oh, said Fisherman Key. Ah, said Beekeeper Lee. Mmm, said Baker O. The moment had finally come for Yum Yum to eat his New York bagel. He closed his eyes and took his first bite. It was a perfect bagel, with a hint of honey so sweet it made him sigh. It was soft and plump and chewy and delicious all in one bite. It was so heavenly he could even taste the curious hole in the middle. Yum Yum declared, at last, I have my bagel. Turn and talk. Use details from where on earth is my bagel to answer these questions with a partner. 1. Make inferences. Yum Young decides that his bagel must be lost. What does he do next? What does that tell you about Yum Young? 2. What is the setting? How is the setting important to the story events? 3. How do the people in Yum Young's community work together to solve his problem? Talking tip. Complete the sentence to ask your partner for more information about an answer. Could you tell me more about...